Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today we are looking at the wonderful world of averages. Now I just want to be clear as to what we are covering today. If you are looking to learn GCSE maths, you will discover that there are several ways to find an average, mean, median, mode, and the one on the end they put range. In fact, what I want to look at today are the first two of those, the ones that are introduced into the curriculum first, particularly at functional skills, and those are mean and range. I will look at the others in a different video. Okay, so what exactly is average? Well, it's kind of looking for the middle, the central position. Um, very difficult to put into words and probably easier to show in demonstration. Uh, so let's go and do it. In fact, the methods that we require to find the mean and the range are quite straightforward. Let's look at the mean. If we have a list of numbers and we are looking for the mean average, first thing we do is add up all the numbers involved. So there we have a total of all the numbers. Once you have that total, second step, divide the total by the number of numbers. Let's explain that more clearly when we look at an example. And to find the range, it's even more straightforward. We simply subtract the lowest number in the set that we have from the highest. So let's actually have a look at an example and see if we can make that clear. I have a table, and this is a very typical example of the kind of question you might get. And it's talking about the amount of money that's been raised by a charity gala. So we have one column which shows the years that they've run the gala, and the second column that shows how much money has been made each year. Let's first of all look at finding the mean. And we said step one was add up all the numbers. So that is what we do. We simply add this column of numbers. And in fact, we could just put total at the bottom here. And if we add all those numbers up, we find it comes £2,400. So that is the amount of money that has been raised in total throughout all these years. To find the mean, the second one, we said we divide by, and this was the phrase, the number of numbers. So what do we mean by that? Well, here are the numbers that we've added up, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are eight numbers that we've added up. Therefore, we take our total, the 2,400, and we divide it by eight. In fact, if we do that, the answer we get is 300. So the mean average amount of money that has been raised each year at this gala is 300 pounds. Let's move on to the range. And we said that the range, we subtract the lowest from the highest. So what is the highest amount that's been made in any particular year? Well, it was in 2017 and they raised 420. That is the highest. From that, we are going to take away the lowest amount, which was 2015. So that's 190. And if we take that away, not three, two, we find that the range of amounts that they raised is 230 pounds. Now, I want to have a look at a question here. Um, because although we've learned the rules, it isn't always necessarily clear which numbers we're actually working with. So let's take this as a typical exam question. Which of these footballers scored the most goals on average in recent matches? And then we have three players, Andreas, Miguel and Joe. Let's have a look at Andreas. We're wanting to know what his average goal score is. Now we know that he scored nine goals and we also know that he played in three matches. So we want to work out the average. Now, let's just look a little bit closer at Andreas's actual figures here at the bottom. So in match one, he scored three goals. In match two, he scored two goals. And in match three, four goals. So when we are looking to find the average, we know the rule. We add it up. Three plus two plus four is nine. So in total, he scored nine goals. We also know... 
to then divide that by the number of numbers, one, two, three, so that's nine, divided by three. So his average is three. Now to take that back to the top table here, you can see actually we already have those numbers because the number of goals scored in total has already been given to us, that's nine, and the number of matches played is the number of numbers, the three matches. So in fact, to work out the average score per match, we simply take the nine, we divide it by the three, and we get three. Now Miguel has actually scored more goals than Andreas, ten to nine, but as well as scoring more goals, he's also played in more matches. So actually, when we take the 10 and we divide it by 4, the answer we get is 2.5. So actually, Miguel's average 2.5 is lower than Andreas simply because he's played in more matches. Joe has played in 5 matches and scored 5 goals. So 5 goals divided into five matches means that on average he has scored one goal per match. It's just worth noting we don't know whether Joe scored one goal a match or whether he scored all five goals in one match or two in one, three in another. It doesn't matter to us. All we know is he scored a total of five. To work out the average we divide that by the number of games. So on average, it is one goal per match. And just to have a quick look at range, if we had been asked the range of goals scored by the footballers, well, we would have simply said Miguel has scored 10 goals and Joe is the lowest with five. So 10 minus five is five. So the range of number of goals scored per player is simply five. Now here's a question on range which asks us to work things out slightly differently. It says the month of January had temperatures which had a range of 9 degrees, the lowest temperature was 3 degrees, and it's asking what was the highest temperature? Well if you remember we said that the range was the highest take away the lowest. Now another way of saying that is to say that the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest. Now, what's different with this question is that we are being given the lowest, but then we are being given the range. So we are being given the difference between the lowest and the highest. So on a chart, it might look like this, with the lowest here being at three degrees. We have then got the range. In other words, the difference between the highest and the lowest is nine degrees. So to find the highest, we take the 3, we add the 9 on, and that means the highest, 3 plus 9, must be 12 degrees. And if you want to check your answer, go back to our original definition. The range is the highest, 12, take away the lowest, 3, 12 minus 3 is indeed 9, which was the range, so your answer is correct. And that's mean and range. I mentioned right at the beginning there are other averages. We will cover those in a different video. But if you can get around those two, get them sorted out, get the mechanics of how you work those out, uh, you'll find it easier to move on when you want to add the others. Hope you enjoyed that. If you found it useful, please, as always, subscribe, like and comment. See you again, hopefully. Thank you.